Okay, everyone says that animating Eclipse Studio Paint is hard for a multitude of reasons. You can't copy and paste frames, can't do this and that, and you can. You can do all those things. Y'all are just misinformed about how the animation works, so let's uh, let's get started. You can do this on any canvas, but this is just the format I choose for animating. Uh, it doesn't matter how long or the frame rate. I'm gonna get rid of this layer. I'm gonna make a new animation. I'm gonna put it here. New animation so real easy and now this is where people try to draw things and then they're like oh shit now i gotta make a new thing if i want to color it and then that means i got it no don't don't do that don't do that don't don't do that delete that layer and you know they say oh i can't copy and paste my frames because now this is the same frame but you can the first thing you're going to do when you start an animation is you're going to take this frame you're going to drag it onto the folder icon. Now, you're probably saying, Cat, well, doesn't that mean you have to do that for every frame now? No. When I go to do a new frame, automatically makes it exactly like the last one. Even if I have something drawn on here, when I make another frame, it is going to be empty. But this is a downside because this also means if I draw something with multiple layers, even with a mask, let's say I do a silly little mask here. If I do a new layer, it will have, or is going to have these traits, and that's bad. We don't want that. It's much better to have it delete a couple layers on one frame than have to make every new frame a folder. And that is how I animate on Glyphs UP. Now I can show you a quick example. Just a very simple boil, very lazy boil. Very simple. Now let me show you guys how I set this kind of stuff up for real animations. Here is the file for the choice animation that I did. The only time I ever use other animation folders is for simplicity, making things as simple as possible. For the choice animation, I only have four animation folders, starting out with the asset for Annie and the rest of the crew. The main under here that I've named is the parts that are not going to be moving, except for very simple things like this shadow here. And when I'm doing moving shadows, like I have here, you can see parts of the eyes are still kind of the same. The arm moves. With this, because I can now copy and paste layers, I copy and paste them. So I have parts of the face and the arm, and these are the shadows underneath. And the only problem with separate animation folders is in Clip Studio Paint, when you have things in separate folders, um, when you use layer modes, blending modes, they do not transfer to anything outside of those. Now though, that is also a blessing and a curse. So when I try to do my shading on separate folders, they are not actually a multiply, but actually directly the color. As you can see, this is in normal mode. Well, when I go to the base folder here, this is actually a multiply. I just directly color picked what the color is turned into and then draw from there. Here is a section where I have something that's a lot more meticulously animated. This took a lot longer. It, it's pretty simple, but it still took me pretty long because initially I was not going to shade it. But as you can see, this is only on one animation folder. It is seven frames long and they are all separately drawn. I did not copy and paste most anything. The only time I do did copy and pasting for this was the shadows and that was very slightly moving the shadows as you can see with this section here maybe it might be kind of obvious it is copy pasted and then edited just slightly and that is only so i can keep a consistency especially with this sh sort of gradient shadow up here if i didn't copy and paste it and manually tried to get the same gradient every time i think it would be too inconsistent and be distracting so i just moved it a little bit and it came out looking pretty good i would say myself this is one of my favorite sections especially in the final composite version with the background and the extra effects here is one that's a bit more complicated i didn't want to have to copy and paste cg a million times so i took the parts that don't move in the sketch and i drew it once and put it over the entire sequence and then we have the main under which is parts that don't move as you can see in this animation annie moves her head up and then at this part she stops moving her head and only the tear and her mouth moves so I copied the final head and then kept it as two 
two separate parts here. Now this head, this is a head where the tear and the mouth move. But 11, her mouth stops moving. So I copied and pasted the final mouth movement and kept it as a single frame, as you can see. These parts don't move either, so I cut them like that. And then I animated this stuff separately. Copy and pasting is great when animating, um, especially if you're doing really lazy shadows. I do not do shadows like you're supposed to, especially how you see in professional animation and anime where they have shadow lines, shadow guides. I don't do that because I don't know why. <laughs> Or here, I just copy and pasted, moved it a little bit, and then would erase or add certain areas. I like this technique of animating Eclipse Studio Paint with folders and stuff ever since I figured it out because you don't have to have a million animation folders, and especially uh, with your sketch. You can do your sketch on your animation folder, and then you can just start doing the lines and color all on the same animation folder. Sometimes doing a storyboard on a different animation folder is a good idea. It is all up to personal choice what you want to do and how you want to animate and that is the best part about indie animation you don't have to follow anyone's rules any sort of professional rules it's whatever you feel is the easiest and i'm not a professional animator as you can see <laughs> this is the, my first time animating since i was like 12 or something and i'm still learning new things all the time learning new techniques as I um, the folder part in Clip Studio I had only discovered while working on this animation and that was something that I just I started when I started um, these animations I did not know about animation folders so I had to meticulously take each and every frame and turn it into a folder which is something you do not want to do and it will save you a lot of time I hope this helped, and I hope this was a good explanation of animating Eclipse Studio Paint, and I hope Money Shortcut could help you. Have a good day!